Do you provide warehousing logistics for a lot of S&P 500 companies? As we've seen, rates hit their highest level since the great financial crisis. What are your customers telling you about the impact that these higher rates are having on their business? Right now, right, right now what we're seeing is customers are being thoughtful about this softer macro environment, these higher interest rates. But we're also seeing no end of big, strategic, transformational projects, tr projects that are going to hit in later years, 24, 25, 26 and beyond. And also, we're helping our customers with tactical projects, helping them lower down costs, manage this environment, and that, in the end, is good for them, good for the consumer. All right, so yesterday you announced an expansion of your GXO Direct product. That's basically a warehousing solution. It allows companies, especially retail companies, to move their product closer to consumers. What are you hearing about warehousing demand? We're hearing a lot of retail companies say they're trying to work down their inventory, in other cases trying to right-size it and get the products that people want instead of things that were in vogue last year. What are you hearing when it comes to inventory levels? Yeah, across all of our business, inventory levels, they've moderated. All those supply chain difficulties that we've experienced over the past two years, they've dissipated away. Goods are now evenly flowing from manufacturing into our warehouses and, of course, out to the consumer. But, you know, a lot of customers, they've taken heed of these difficulties over the past two years. And, in fact, the more nearshoring product, bringing goods and services closer to the consumer. All right, so you're hitting on nearshoring. You're, I'm going to call you your sister company, RxO, actually announced a new project uh, where they're opening up space right on the border of Texas and Laredo to kind of help out companies that are trying to do this nearshoring and also the, just the general U.S.-Mexico trade. What are you hearing from your customers? Let's specifically talk about your blue chip customers. We just mentioned them a moment ago, Nike, Apple, Verizon, et cetera, um, about their efforts to supply closer to the United States, specifically in Mexico. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of added value services are being moved closer to the consumer. We're seeing that across a whole range of our customers, not just here in North America. We're seeing it in Europe. Textile products being moved into Turkey, where we can do overland transport into the consumer, big markets in Western Europe and the UK. All right, so you're touching on what's going on in Europe right now. I want to ask you, we're seeing a softening of the freight markets, the warehousing markets here in the United States. Are we seeing something similar over in Europe, or are they, their freight markets recovering a bit faster than ours? Freight markets are OK in Europe, recovering. But, you know, consumer demand, that's the acid test. In the UK, it's the most moderated of the markets that we're operating in. Consumers are still wrestling with high levels of wage inflation, energy inflation. But across the rest of our European business, big markets, France, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, in fact, they're performing pretty well.